hello guys welcome back so now in this video we are going to add google map to our drivers app so for the time saving we will go back to our users app you may have already the visual studio code open up visual studio code and then inside the visual studio code drag and drop your user app to it okay and then of course trust the author so this is our user app which we open in VS Code just to uh, copy the Google map piece of code from here and also some dependencies so anyways now go to the pages home page dot dot and first of all we will copy these three instances okay and go back to the home page in our drivers app okay in our drivers app on the home page we can pass that here make sure to import this dot async and then the google map controller package which is google map flutter dot dot and then of course the position which belongs to geolocator dot dot now go back to vs code and now in here the next thing that we need to do is we have to copy the update map theme these json file from get themes and these methods alongside with get current live location of user okay these methods you copy these four methods and once you copy it come back here and above the widget build here we can simply paste it okay you can see that import the package for byte data which is type data and then root bundle services dot dot utf at dot convert and then after it we can rename this method right click on it refactor rename and as you know this is the driver live location current location refactor okay so now the next thing is to remove this return const scaffold okay and instead of that we can copy this okay which contains google map so this piece of code which starts from this return okay so even in including this return you can copy it okay this whole scaffold widget you can see that copy this piece of code and we will remove this return and instead of it we will paste which we copy it return you can see okay starting from here ending here and first import the initial camera position which is on the global variable dot dot okay which you already know basically it is this google plex initial position so anyways now here we have to call our method which is get current live location of driver then inside the users app uh, first make sure that we have already permission for getting the user for using the user location that is the driver location as we know that this is our driver app okay so it will ask the permission from the driver now for this we also have to add uh, inside the android manifest so go to android app src man and inside the man we have android manifest.xml so inside the users app also go to android app src man android manifest.xml and copy this user's permission for asking permission from a user and simply here above at the top above the application we can paste it similarly also here we have to add the map key so what we can do is inside the users app android manifest at the bottom we have already added the map key so just copy that come back to the drivers app and here above the ending application tag we can pass that so this is all about adding the google map to our drivers app so yeah that's it now we can of course test our application and now you can close your user app which we open in vs code okay so let's test our drivers app 
now before testing the application I have already uh, told you guys that if you are using your real smartphone then it is okay you can directly click the play button and install the app on it it will get your live location that is your current location but if you are using Android emulator or iOS simulator then in that case you have to set the uh, device location okay for that you have to click on this three dotted buttons okay let me show you these three dotted buttons on your emulator and then here you have to search uh, that is uh, search for your current location for example where you are living so I will give my location like okay and then I will click on set location so my location is set to this area that is this device location is set to that specific area so now I can install the app on my phone if you are using your real phone it is really good okay please test the application on your real phone but I'm using the emulator so that's why if any one of you is using emulator that is virtual device then you have to set the location first of the device so we have to allow the permission while using the app now let's just quickly log in password then login so we have display the Google map and also we have to get the current location of driver for that let's close the app and open it again just want to see if it gets our location that is current location of the driver or not and yeah it is working fine as you can see it gets the current location of the driver okay now the next thing is to apply the theme we have to include the uh, JSON files so for that purpose uh, you need to go to the users app inside the users app if you remember we have themes okay this folder where we have our JSON files for these three Google Maps styles dark style night style retro style okay so from here you can just copy this themes folder and when you copy it from here then come back here right click on your drivers app and then click paste and then click OK so you know that it is now here okay so from the following themes we apply the theme which is night style okay so we apply the night style but we have to include also these themes inside the pubspec.yml so here we can say themes whatever is inside the themes folder that is the part of our, this project click on pub get so now let's test our app again let's quickly log in and here we go here you can see the night style theme is applied on our Google map